getting way too <coughs> way too long hair for this. <laughs> I need to get to the barber shop. Let's see. That feels fine. So let's see what we got. Do I have a chat? Yes, I have a chat. That's nice. Oh, library. I should have a category for this now. VR, filter games, and then I have... I don't want the keyboard every single time. Try this. So, a lot of things. I wish there were more things to sort on. Let's see. Those are all like categories. But I want to sort on like normal meta data. <laughs> so like I could sort on room scale support or whatever. I don't think I've used the pressurizer to categorize all of this. And I don't think, I don't think the pressurizers so far have had um, like standard game features as filters, but maybe at some point. So that's probably something in beta I can't show. <laughs> uh, I remember this being, let's start, oh! I forgot to... Can I get the overlay? There we go. Let's see if I can turn on the Steam banner in OBS. Uh, it's lovely how SteamVR nukes the overlay constantly. Even if I'm not asking for it. Steam game banner show. Let's see. Yes, yes, remove. Oh, they placed the start menu well out of my reach. So that's, that's uh, <laughs> inconvenient. Okay, it moves up. I think, yeah, I forgot to turn off my speakers. There we go. Oh, the camera has gone bonkers. Okay. This is the problem with not having a camera that works with. Oh, I'll fix this. The game looks pretty. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> friend I believe you're quite confused right now since you woke up in the middle of nowhere no worries I am here to assist you but first can you find me and pull me out from this sad looking fellow you can move forward by pressing your touchpad yes, the cap the big round thing on both sides of your controller yes 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 uh, touchpad I suppose you can push the touchpad with your thumb. I'm just going to check that everything is working. On, so the camera the view... Just push it gently. It, it actually doesn't know where I am, or actually it doesn't know where itself is. So I'm just doing a random calibration and it does an offset of the camera angle to follow me in the space. So it's, it's actually not aware of where it's act really looking. So that's, that's why when... It draws too much power and the engines or the motors fail. It just falls down. So I have I have crappy drivers for my stepper and motors. Okay, good. Teleport. I on your right side. Instead of eating that scrumptious looking dinner, why don't you simply grab yes and put stuff in the box? In the box. Another one. It's a very nice physical one. arrow. Good job, my clever friend. So I can't eat them, that's why they tell me not to eat. Now, 
Oh, I didn't expect for this to actually work. With a handle. You can grab the handle and you can simply turn it like a circle. I think I ended up in loading zone sp space. I can still teleport, but I can't see anything. You can grab the this is a common issue that I seem to get. Turn it like a circle. That you can see in VR, I have just a gray space, but the actual game view on Steam. Where does MVP? What? <laughs> Hello, Don. <laughs> so the game itself has locked me out in loading space. Ugh. Um. You can grab the handle. And you oh, it's an emote. Like That's. I guess I can see that here. Mm, it's not signed in. Oh crap. All right, I need to fix that. <laughs> One moment. You can grab the handle and you can simply turn it like a circle. You can grab the handle and you can simply turn it like a circle. Streaming is getting more and more complicated the more more times you do it because there are more more and more applications that should be running and systems up and running and whatever. <laughs> so now my shop client is connected. <laughs> Let's kill this game and restart it because it's it's most apparently stuck in loading loading limbo. So I haven't turned on the filter for the notifications, so it works both ways now. So I get I, I have the log here and the notifications to disturb the sh the stream. <laughs> Forgotten chambers. So graphically, this looks really nice, and it's even particle effects from the beam. That's pretty interesting. Let's hope I don't end up in. Loading zone hell again. Oh, so I can see it now in in the log. But I haven't I haven't made. I don't think I can even include images in the notifications for Steam VR. Hello, my friend. I believe you're quite confused right now since you woke up in the middle of nowhere. Uh-huh. No worries. <coughs> but first, can you I still have the loading screen in front of me? Hmm. Forward by press. Okay, good. Now come closer. You will see a dining table on your right side. Yes, and put stuff in the and another one. Good job, my clever friend. It I can feel that this game drops frames. Um, funny enough, I just updated the overview to show that. You can grab the handle and you can simply turn it like a circle. Yes, turn it like a circle. Keep turning it. There's a nice haptic feedback in the controller while doing, the, doing this. Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> and we will finally meet. Ah. Speech is a bit low from game. I can I actually lower the game quite a bit, but I can I haven't that's hard to like test myself, but let me try to not crash into a wall. That's the problem with having three screens, that it becomes tiny in Steam VR. So let me back up against the wall here. <laughs> And then I can move over to OBS and I can adjust my game audio. There we go. But this game seems to 
leave me in loading limbo all the time so let's let's move on i guess oh crap Woo, that froze a whole lot of stuff <laughs> uh, the desktop view is really taxing for the system so that doesn't help with anything <laughs> performance wise so let's see i <sighs> This is actually a multiplayer game, but I want to play it with people later on, so let's figure out how it works. Plinks, click sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using a separate microphone now, which is different from the Vive microphone. So I just lowered gain on it because I noticed it could peak. And it would be clipping. Um, but it's not in front of my mouth, so it doesn't puff that easily anyway. So that, that should be an improvement, hopefully. It would be interesting to review the, the recording later on. Is, me, is my machine choking? So CPU is pretty high, <laughs> or very high. But it is loading a, a game, so... Yeah. Did it kill it? What? I'm back in the... Steam environment, Steam VR environment. Uh, oh! Apparently it was just slow loading. I, I I've seen that with a few games like the, the the worst offender among the like mainstream mainstream titles is uh, arizona sunshine uh that was that is super slow to load controller mode move <laughs> there's no like back and forward for this tutorial reload Press and hold to do stuff. Uh, switch weapon touchpad down. So most interactions on the trigger it seems like. Moving by pressing. So it, basically forward and backwards on the touchpad is what are custom actions. Otherwise it's, it's easy to just test the physical buttons. It's the touchpad options that are invisible, unless the developer actually puts stuff on the touchpad in virtual reality. For some reason, people don't do that very often. Maybe to have like no need to make custom controller models for both the Vive and Rift. This is basically, I would guess, the controller that comes with Steam VR just reskinned. Um, it's not even animated now. It doesn't show the trigger moving or the touchpad depressing. That's that's a bit bit lazy. There are there is actually a single player, so let's, let's let's just jump right in. This is supposed to be a zombie survival game, and as I mentioned, it it supports multiplayer. So I'm planning to play this with a friend. Hopefully, in the upcoming week. I have a gun on my left hand. I don't know if I can actually... Can I... I need... Uh, I will swap my hands around. Because my right hand is the dominant one. And I, s I see zombies already. This is not a convenient situation. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think. <laughs> oh, they're breaking my, my stuff. For cost. Do I have money? Um, 
Use your handle controller to pick up ammo box. Handle controller. Okay, okay, so there's item pickups. Um, apparently there's like a store on the walls. So that, uh, that's a nice physical thing. That it's a physical space that has the items. Not sure if I can uh, if I can put up more planks. That would be nice to block the window again. Oh, I can repair. Okay, okay. Oh, that was it. So that's interesting. Uh, seems to auto reload, but I guess I can force a reload as well it's pretty nice to like stretch my arm out the window oh oh i guess there are bonus points for headshots maybe oh sh that messed up my interior uh <laughs> It's, it's kind of interesting. I saw this game on Node previously and I had no idea how big the space was or like the layout. But now when actually being here, it makes so much more sense. How, uh, how do I tell how much money I have? Oh, oh. Getting kind of intense. <laughs> Wonder if I'm damaging the planks myself when I'm shooting at them. Can I repair and shoot at the same time? <laughs> Most apparently that works. That's really nice. I don't even know how much ammo I even got. There's no number on my... Oh, that's a big one. Okay, there I just ran out of ammo. <laughs> Is this an ammo box? No. Let's do the random. Uh-oh. Oh, that, that, that is an ammo box. Um. Oh, this is going... Uh. Badly. Death countdown. Uh oh. So 37 kills, 1500 score, 4 minutes. <laughs> I think. Oh, there's a friggin' machine gun upstairs. Yeah, I probably can use the ropes. Um, can I walk around after death? Apparently not. I just want to try the uh, some pretty interesting names here. I would guess VR room 43.2 and 43.1 are like arcades. 175 minutes? What? Kills 3000? What? 5000? What the? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently my score was so bad I just zeroed out everything. <laughs> this is not this is not like uh positive for my character. Uh, <laughs> now let's let, let's just check the I need to pay to actually Oh so I actually buy the the weapon upstairs with this. How how do I even... Is that... That's my health. It's on the controller, okay. But I can't see how much money I have. Do I get money by killing? So I can see when I can do headshots. Okay, so I get 
50 bucks for a zombie killing. I wonder if I get money for fixing walls. As we know, healers are awfully badly rewarded in most games. Oh yeah, ten dollars per per repair. Oh, so I yeah, uh, that's the money I have. Okay, so I see that on every every item I can buy, basically. Not sure yet where my ammo count is. Okay, out of ammo, most apparently. I can't pick stuff up with my weapon hand. I figured I would not buy an automatic rifle this time because I want to try the upstairs stuff. Question is if I can actually survive that long. <laughs> I wish I could put even more planks up. I have... I should have money for going upstairs, I think. If it wasn't 5,000. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Let's see how this works. I'm still using my... Oh! Well, it, it kind of... Sounds kind of... Weak. But I wonder how long I can use this for. And I can't. Oh, I have. I forgot about this menu. Oh, so I have grenades. What? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> this, this was not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 30 seconds, so it's timed. Okay. I guess it could... S maybe it's sad so in the text. You're awkwardly stressed out when being in this environment, so it's easy to not read all the text. Just try to suck up the important info. I think that is my old stats. But yeah, this, this would be interesting to play in multiplayer for sure. Let's, let's nuke it and try something else. Um, the camera is still working, so that's good. I, I really want to build a different camera with a, that's using a Vive tracker. I already have the trackers, but I don't have a workshop to build the mechanical stuff. The software stuff is it's what I do otherwise, so that's fine. Okay, let's let's go ridiculous to to remove the trauma from the zombie survival. This is my middle. I think this is the splash screen, but it's, it's kind of interesting splash screen. <laughs> Does it go back if it's... Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I, I was quite hesitant buying this. I, summer sale makes stuff cheap. So, um, yeah, high score tables, oh it's time based, so maximum game time 13 minutes for the number one in the world, so I'm guessing, uh, yeah, wave pooper or duck shooter? Seems they are expanding the title. Is this diff oh different difficult? Okay, let's do the first one. Hopefully there are some kind of instructions. Plenty of instructions. Remove broken pipes and replace them with new ones. Beat five minutes to unlock next level. Okay. Toolbox is the spawner of the new pipe fragments. Use plunger to unclog the toilet. This is a small room. Uh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Throw broken pipe fragments here to repair them. Throw two normal pipes here to get one silver pipe. Oh. Throw three silver pipes to get a gold pipe. If I, I've seen this on YouTube once, and I think that different pipe types just last for differently long times when you repair the pipes. So I guess I could prep here, but... But... <laughs> oh, there are p pipes over here. So, broken pipe. I need one of these in real life because my kitchen sink is kind of crappy. Or full with crap, I guess. That was the wrong one. What's this? Oh, is it because bad piping? Can I put... Yeah, I can put just white pipes in. This is kind of... Kind of nasty. Um... I wonder if the water will sink again? What? Some pipes are apparently impossible to lift. <laughs> so I think I should be catching them. I just put that in! What? Well, why does the black one break? Whoa, tracking. That was interesting. The hitbox on the broken ones is kind of... Okay, it makes much more sense to repair black ones. Because they are more expensive to get your hands on. Oh, 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 where's the friggin... There we go. I guess the end of the game is when drowning. Oh, this looks bad. <laughs> This is a temporary solution. So I'm guessing the the actual plan here would be to try and upgrade every pipe because I think they they will break quick quicker and quicker. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at catching these when they come back. I have a golden pipe. This is intense and very disgusting. This is looking... Oh, I can't remove them until really broken. Ugh. Apparently, this is why I didn't do ball sports in in school because I apparently can't catch anything. <laughs> this is looking a bit chaotic. Now this one is all black anyway. Maybe that's carbon fiber. What? They repaired and bounced. That's bullshit. Or maybe this is human shit, but yeah. <sighs> this is not what my life needs right now. I think I'm I'm about to drown. I have a ton of black pipes over there.
Do I have an oxygen meter? Oh, I actually catch something. <laughs> oh, it's definitely hard to see when <laughs> things are getting blurry. But under ah, give it to me. Oh, 516, so I <laughs> barely made it to the next level. <laughs> that was a sudden end. <laughs> yeah, that was no big margin for sure. Your raw data beta video doesn't have the drop frames notification. No, this is a new thing. Uh, Yeah, uh, streaming doesn't help with the CPU. I think the CPU is my main bottleneck, especially when streaming because so much extra stuff is running in the background. Press the button and shoot red duck to get bonus time. Red duck? Oh, what? What, what, what? I actually did that. Okay. So I guess, I guess these are actually points. And <laughs> I've, I've been told by my historically uh, knowledgeable brother or archery knowledgeable brother that back in the archery, military archery days, they didn't actually draw arrows from your back, but from their hip. And I have to say, drawing arrows from my back in VR is destroying my wrists. So I'm not sure why we're doing this. <laughs> Can I also shoot this wheel? I don't know. Oh crap. That's how the world ends. You missed the red duck. Am I? I'm, <laughs> I, I thought I heard an airplane. Give different different amounts of points. Uh. <laughs> so I'm I'm quite fond of the archery mechanic, but this grabbing an arrow from an invisible arbitrary space behind your shoulder, I think that's pretty crappy. I like what Valve did in Longbow, that you just click to get a new arrow. That makes way more sense in the gaming perspective. And if they want superior realism, they should check historically where we had the quiver. Ah, oh, that was super close. Now I reach the stage where I think my archery has pre been pretty well good. So I'm subconsciously analy analyzing how I'm shooting and because of that changing my technique and then doing worse <laughs> and talking distracts me from thinking too much that's good i guess <laughs> oh is the different heights giving different points i think so ah. what what what, what? So that, that should give me very few points. Yeah, that's, that's 20 points. I wonder with these, if I can actually hit one. That was close. That was also close. Ugh. So, oh, oh, I have plenty of time apparently. Come on. Oh, I can just hit the oh, whole parachute what oh oh that made it like a gazillion times easier that makes those the biggest targets of, so far 
Oh, but that gave, gave zero points. That explains it. Duh. Ugh. Well, some upbeat positive music in any case. I'm kind of, yeah, some of these games with, with archery feels like they have a gazillion targets, so they would be better served by like a repeating revolver. And now my arm is tired. That's a nice hat of gold over there. Can I steal some gold? So I'm pretty satisfied with my archery time here. Well, let's just shoot arrows for the rest of the time and not get any new time. That should be good enough. I wasn't hot before this, but now I'm starting to sweat. So uh, that's nerd physique for you. Uh, shoot the huge duck between the between the wheel. Oh. That's so far away, can I? 20 points! <laughs> that was kind of funny. Too bad it was only 20 points, but okay. <laughs> 1444. How... That's often the question in VR, how do you exit? Back to menu, X and check. That's interesting. <sighs> well, I guess that's it for this one. Woo, lag, 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 lag. Oh yeah, I still have inverse hands. Let's see. Lovely audio. I did plan to play that other game that never finished loading, Forgotten Chambers, to get some relaxing puzzle time, but apparently that that was not supposed to happen. Solitaire VR. I will probably try that when I'm alone and uh, solitary. Um, Let's try this Siegecraft game. I think this game can also be played on your screen. And I haven't tried many games that have, you know, two modes. Both both the pancake mode on a monitor as well as VR. And this will be interesting. Oh, while loading we can check that. Yeah, the camera is still working. Hello. Well, that's nice, and the microphone is working, and it's giving, it's working in OBS. Lots of systems that oh, this is kind of disconcerting. Ending up in in a black space. Um. Um. Uh, well, the screen is black, so I guess that makes sense. Will it show here if it's not responding? I'm not sure. Exit game. Um, I don't see any firewall question or anything. Huh. Well, uh, let's quit. Let's see. Exit game, okay. Let's let's try one more time and see if it works. Otherwise I'll just move on to other and better things. So the splash screen works, Blowfish Studios. Siegecraft Commander. 
Oh, this time it worked. I think I should reverse my hands again. So... Let's jump straight into campaign, I guess. That's some nice transitions. This is kind of confusing. Campaign, multiplayer and commander. Oh, it's just multiplayer profile settings, okay. Yeah, the help text is definitely helpful. Oh, it's a dragon. Well, let's start the campaign. Um, are these two... It doesn't say if there are different difficulties or just different campaigns overall. Um, but let's go for the... Ever, all the first stuff. <laughs> Why would I want to redo this? Okay, so this is basically a virtual... A virtual... Or, what? So I can spin it, but... Yeah, it, it seems to reset this rotation. Yeah, I don't know why that happened, but... <laughs> that... what? Is it... It's not because I'm pulling the controller away from, from the wheel. But that's that really, dis like, distracting. What? <laughs> Use the left controller to move the board around. Press the touchpad when you're ready to continue. I have a teleport arc, or is this a selection arc? <laughs> oh, this is almost sickening, because this is the whole world. Like, I have this grid world around me, but it's at hyper distance, so it doesn't anchor me quite except for orientation of the space. I see a selection marker on the floor, or the virtual floor that goes with the table. Now it's leaning that way? This is really... is it because I should read this? Oh, can I teleport onto the... Oh! Oh! Okay. Why... why... How does the... Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Okay. Oh, that's the tutorial. Okay. Press and hold the left touchpad and right touchpad to rotate. Okay. With the left trigger hold held down, drag left and right to adjust the size of the board. Okay, this is pretty neat. Scale change in VR is always, always very interesting. Oh, I made it so small I don't think I can see the tutorial anymore. You bumbling fool! You really killed us! I th hey, if it weren't for you sticking your fat arms in front of our faces, we wouldn't have crashed! <laughs> um. Move, rotate, scale, zoom, back, options. <gasps> oh, I can flip the pages. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Hey, 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 shh, come, come, what's done is done. Uh, well, if you're done, be I'm sure I saw something glittering. <sighs> I oh, I'm not. I bearings. just click. Let's head over to that lookout yonder. Use the right controller to highlight the tower and press trigger to select it. In the build menu, you may select different towers and projectiles to throw. Navigate using the right touchpad. Okay. So I guess 
outpost is the only tower I have. Use the right controller to control the direction and power of the shot by pressing and holding the trigger. This is very abstract. If they would give me a, a, an interface that was actually around my hand. Let's see if I can figure this out. Moving it. So sideways is rotation and away from me is... No. No. <laughs> I guess that that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, that's the mechanic. So you build new towers by... Shooting out your... Uh, So you basically shoot a projectile that is in your next building and it creates walls and if I understood this correctly from the trailer if that tower what? dies That's what I saw. the uh, one after it will also die There's some fortification So you uh, did see oh. uh, No Let's go back where we landed That's some very amb ambitious lore Stuff. Not sure if it's actually useful, but I guess it is what it is. Hey, what is uh. that tower to our north? It looks like that fortification next to the ruin. It's trying. Oh, oh, oh no, you it's don't! Ready the game. Much like throwing towers, you can throw explosives. Um, TNT. So I guess select tower, choose TNT. Let's this is super awkward. I'm here. I should be able to just point where I want it. I think hands-on interactions are always preferable after this abstracted stuff. This is what we have on the screen because we can't reach into the screen. I'm making decisions in 3D space, but I'm not using spatial controllers. That makes no sense. There's, I can move the, I can move the stage around, and I can teleport. Why can't I just point where to shoot? <laughs> this is super awkward. I think I'm moving out of my space. Let's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I missed that one. So that was their base. House. So destroying it deleted the, the destroyed the whole destroyed whole the range. rest of their chain of towers too. Tower chains are wait. Um. Oh my favorite. Let's build the ballista. What's that? Bear? Bear. So apparently, I can teleport once, and then I get an instruction. Or whatever. Okay, this targeting mechanism is ruining the whole experience. Ugh. Ha <laughs> ha! That got it! Watch out! Another. Tell me you have some. Aren't you lucky? Let's build an armory. There's not quite any exploration at all. Like, it's not... Uh, whoa! D did I... What? I thought I had picked up building. Never mind. It isn't stable enough to build there. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I 
Still not sure why we have that entire complicated thing. Just having... I have a laser now. Or an arc laser. Why don't I use this to just click... Click, select and target. Why do we have this green rotating thing? <laughs> AOE shells. Build an artery... No, even mortar. This is so odd. Phew. That should deal with some of their troops. Let's go back to our outpost. The green rotating thing is to make it harder for the day. <laughs> Thanks, Yodan. The, there's something that's called challenging and there's something that's just called inconvenient. <laughs> oh. Build another outpost so that you can throw TNT at the enemy war camp. Okay, okay. So I guess it makes sense to have buildings that go out of your main house. Because... The more branches you have, the, least, the lesser is the risk for your entire kingdom to explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TNT. I'm betting that this interface is, is directly from the desktop version. Now I see the arc already. Can I repeat it? Tower, tower HUD? That does nothing. Uh, shoot. Okay, so I saw my previous shot, but I couldn't reuse it. That just shot at my feet, so that's annoying. Dun, dun, dun. The barracks is down. Wait. Uh Oh, can I do whatever I want now? Oh, so much for your fine building. Now what do you s hmm. They attacked again before the ballista oh. Uh I remember seeing uh. some sort of energy shield. Like a tower that harnessed lightning. What? Tower that harnessed lightning. I think I should be building something on this crystal you here. Mean the Tesla? What? Well, then it's him. Build a library? Okay. <laughs> I just want to finish this level and move on. Night! We have Let's the library. Help. Hey, buddy. Need what I really. A crystal? Then we'll have every capturing. This is way too close. Capturing resources, crystal and gold unlocks the construction of some units and towers. Build an outpost in the crystal circle of influence to harness its power. I. So I can scale the world, but I can't tilt it with the controls. But I can rotate it. Can I? No. So I got tilt on it, which is quite annoying. Okay, so I can kind of... I'm... I guess, I guess we can try this. I, the whole point of this must be so I can play on a wall. Whoa, this... <laughs> this leaves me floating in the air, and it's really hard to read. This makes me question what the purpose of this is at all, because I... Okay, let's... No. It's upside down. Uh, ma maybe if I put a small angle on it? No. 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 It's just not spinning. Not sure what the point is when the game is comp almost unplayable when you put it at an angle. But okay. 
This messes with my senses. <laughs> yeah. So the horizon is really important to have like a comfortable VR experience. But as this, if they had turned the table transparent when moving it, it would cause less less uh, discomfort and less disorientation. Let's see. Is I supposed to build an outpost or a Tesla? Finally, we can build a Tesla. Right. Back to the library. I've noticed that they replace what's on my buttons. Hello, random person. Welcome to awkward VR controls. Okay, so that was sufficient hey, against Vyvern. It might be a fun game, but the controls are kind of awful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very awkward. So, there's this table to play on, and you can... I've rotated it to try it out, but I'm not sure. Otherwise, you have these wheels. You can of course. Oh, let's continue past where I found the crystal. Well. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, good. Uh, well, make quick. Oh yeah, so you can use these to spin it around, which is really odd because you have you have button shortcuts for doing everything else. Uh, rotation and scaling, but this tilting it's locked to, to well physical controls if nothing else and i can let's sc <laughs> let's scale it whoa that scale Did you try the eye in the sky game i'm not sure i have still 50 games to try out so <laughs> i have will have plenty to do this summer sale got intense uh, so there we go. Oh. So I guess dynamite. Can I reach all the way? Oh yeah. Ugh. They are trying to repeat repeat the command, but it was not possible. Yeah, maybe we should. Do I have you on Steam? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have I've had Modbox for the longest time, but I haven't actually spent time making anything in it. What? Destroy the enemy's keep. Yes, yes. So yeah, this is the most awkward part. Uh, let's place a new Outpost. <laughs> yeah, Modbox seems to have been expanded to an insane degree. What? Yeah, this green arrow interface is the worst part of the entire thing. What? <laughs> I just wanted to finish this! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> it's interesting that losing the crystal axis... Losing the crystal axis didn't turn off the Tesla, which is interesting. Okay, this is close combat. Oh, I think I... Did I miss? Why did it try to build instead of... Ugh. I'm, I'm trying to throw frigging grenades! Why? TNT, okay. I think it picks... Uh, it 
Yeah, if I push directly on the touchpad where the TNT looks to be, I don't think it actually picks it, no? You have to probably swipe into that button, not click it directly. This is, this is just awkward. Uh. Whee. Really? I think this is better played on a flat screen as it is now, for sure. Okay. Achievement, deconstruction. At last we have made it here. <sighs> the glory and this That's a serious show. voice acting. No. Oh, can you cows? Well, I'm not. Oh yeah. Oh, ah. My suffering is. Not over, but I, believe I think I'm. I can't those unsophisticated. We are. <laughs> Options. Quit. Ah. <sighs> so VR can be nice, but it's kind of annoying at some points. At least when. Well, VR is nice when interface is nicely made. I think I forgot to put one game into here. Which I'm really curious about, so let's try to find it in VR. It's a game by the people behind Prison Architect. Uh, no. Did... What? Why is the overlay lagging like insane? I hope like I'm not sure if you've seen the rumors for for like Steam Universal. Um, supposedly an interface that replaces both Steam Big Picture and the desktop client. I would guess that as this is based on big picture, it would also replace what's in VR. I hope it's more performant. There we go. This is insane. Search. Some scanner somber. That's exactly what I want to play. Uh. Which is supposed to be in my... They might not have tagged it as VR. Games. Uh, but that looks really interesting, I think. There we have it. So it can... Be it... Do I need to do it? Yeah, you have... Yeah, I figured it was the beta. So... Uh, select beta... Public beta testing branch, okay. Uh, does it on uh, 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 downloads? 42 megabytes. And it's doing 10 megabytes per second, so it should like take 10 seconds. Oh, it's already installing the update. <laughs> yeah, that went quick. I have a, an, a symmetrical 100 megabit connection, so it should be fine. Uh, apparently, it's the installation process that that's not going too quickly. What's my my CPU is still choking. <laughs> I will be very interested to see the the dropped frames count later on. Uh, it's kind of neat to have some kind of statistic to see how things have gone. I did notice that it was quite a few choppy episodes in the last game. Um, I know you can see blocks here by Google. This game can also, or this application I guess, can also be quite heavy on the CPU. Um, I think that's it because it does like geometrical transformations and stuff polygon poly polygonal editing so that's probably not 
the easiest thing to perform. Oh, so that's the download period. <laughs> it's funny that it took this small time to download the update and this time to actually install it. So bandwidth is not the issue. No, at least not network bandwidth. I really need to build a new PC. I'm just waiting for Ryzen to mature a bit. Maybe get some revision future. Uh, view in library, play. This should update my game banner in the stream window. Uh, it seems to be working. That's nice. <laughs> Introversion software. You can see that they are sprites because when I rotate my head, they should stay static to your screen in the stream. But to me, they are all spinning. You can also see them spin. If I go really close, you can see clearly that they are aligning themselves to my headset, which is, yeah, it's kind of awkward. This is why point point particles that are pure points they work really well in vr anything that has any kind of texture that spins with your head that breaks down really quickly and looks fake like super fake it literally looks like tiny billboards that's somehow connected to my head so yeah i wonder if if there are options uh I will, I have, <laughs> I feel like I get quite a few things to post about in the Steam forums after testing all, out different titles. Apparently I'm uploading anon anonymized stats. I don't think invert y-axis is valid option for VR. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> all of this is also kind of, yeah, well, this is beta. So I guess they are not, maybe not all done with the, with the VR implementation. So I saw a YouTube video of the developers and apparently they were unsatisfied with the sales figures for, well, for this game. I'm not really surprised because this seems way more artsy fartsy than like prison architect maybe i should have looked for controls okay okay touchpad seems to be the teleport so i immediately want to pick up this photo to look at it but apparently that is not allowed that is one of the things with VR is that there's, there's like the expectation to be able to touch stuff because they look like physical things that should be possible to touch. And I can't teleport anymore. So there's a menu. Maybe this is too beta. <laughs> I can't move. I'm locked in space. I can't explore the universe. A pretty nice audio, but I guess that's the same as the base game. Uh, does it react on? Oh yeah, when I bring up the overlay, it doesn't react on my button presses anymore. So I can't actually see if my overlay is working. <laughs> oh. Does it work if I put it outside? Yeah, I think if you have great success, it changes your personality for some people and it's for better or for worse. But I guess it's kind of a defensive mechanism to cope with the attention you get and, and like how 
it's totally personal how much you put yourself above other people after you become successful, for sure. Well, this seems broken, so never mind. It seems like an interesting experience, but I will probably ask for perfectly circular particles in the forums. Let's go back to... Do I have audio from the game still? This is supposed to be a silent environment. Lag, 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 lag. What? It loaded this. It loaded a web page in the background with default audio on. That's insane. Why did it open a freaking web page? Did I push a button? That's ridiculous. I mean, if it was some beta report page, but that just looks like that looks looked just like the the main launch, uh, landing page, not like a rep, rep, like a submission form for feedback, mm -hmm. unless that was at the, at the bottom of the page, but I don't think so. Uh, this is this is stupid so this is super fluid the hoovering effect is super fluid scrolling is mortally slow or yeah whatever word words i can scroll with the touchpad i guess that's a better idea why is the filter list super slow? I think I have s super many items in the, in, the, in the filter list because I have automatically made categories. Maybe they have some ex exponential load for how many items you got in the filter list. Uh, that's the only thing I can imagine would mess so much with the, this individual list performance. <sighs> there are a few games here that I do not use motion controllers. But I guess I can skip those for now. I haven't actually played much of those games at all <laughs> since getting the vibe. Let's do Everest. I've only heard bad things about Everest. <laughs> That's why I bought it for the sheep to see why is it so bad. <laughs> Uh, I saw a dialogue in the dashboard. What was that? How far can I move without breaking my face? Okay. Allow. <laughs> Auto mod. Uh, that's hard to read. Let's see if I can move this one. What? Over here. So having the desktop view is really convenient. But in the Steam forums, we have asked forever to get a better interface when you have multiple monitors because it spans all the monitors on the same surface. And it, things become tiny. If you had one screen, it would be this huge screen and it would be easy to see. Now I have to creep in really close to see what's going on. Auto mode held this message allow it? Why would it not? That's strange. Why was that blocked? It contains nothing suspicious. That's super weird. <laughs> okay, well, Twitch is Twitch. Press any button to start. My hands are inverted, so I guess this is Unreal Engine. Because Unreal Engine apparently doesn't care anything what Steam says about right and left hands. 
That's what I've heard anyway, and that's true when you play games. Yeah, that's what we suggested on the forums as well. Either, either make them tabs, so you can f choose which screen to see, or place them on a curved surface, or if you want to have fewer polygons, place them in a U-shape. Uh, that could support up to four screens, so I mean, why not? But it feels like Valve might have moved on to creating their, v their VR titles mostly. And perhaps I guess the hardware team is working on the Steam VR tracking. Um, but all the stuff that is kind of power user stuff, like the desktop view, the, the headset monitor, am I? I'm supposed to be. Am I supposed to be in the corner? Why? Why oh why? No, oh, the shadows move hands. One above and one beneath. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess that could work. God mode, base camp, Kumbulu, Icefall, Everest Summit, Hillary Step, Luchts, Luchts So I guess there are, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's just anything. That's like free flight mode. So let's do one of these. Well, how am I supposed to not pick the top at once? I guess let's let's do this one. It looks like a big rush. But I'm not sure why they would have me stand in the corner because that that pops up the chaperone. It's not like I had had to have all that space to walk through. So that's really strange. Maybe if they've used this for expositions. They've actually, <laughs> that's a neat effect, to first make it look like I would have a video and then just removing the frame. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Apparently they spent quite some time flying around the mountain and taking thousands of photographs. And then they made this. I think there should be audio, but if... I know this right where is... Spend the night at camp. Yeah, there we go. Tents are nestled on small ledges hewn into the icy slope. Your reward for this arduous so we have narration. is to reach Camp 4 at the South Col, which lies on the boundary of Nepal and Tibet. That sure made it look like tiny tiny things. I don't like when they hide the controllers because then you don't know if they are actually on. <laughs> you will prepare for the final push. The summit is now within Can see. Now I can't show anything because my hands are invisible, but there is the camp. <laughs> so yeah, Unreal games are also notorious for not giving audio for the VR headset if they don't have focus in Windows. And that is really not quite... Well, I guess it works for normal users that don't go and click around when they're loading. But I, I moved the Twitch window. That's why I lost focus of the game title. <laughs> so am I... People are just walking with spiked shoes. Can, I can't I can't walk past this person so I guess my my physical prowess here is subdued by the slow people I'm with is that sleeping bags tense so like tubular tents. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, this is pretty neat. You can see if I shop with my hand and it gets stuck in the snow, I can see a blue ghost moving past the hand. So that feels better than just the hand getting stuck because that would feel like my controller was broken.
<laughs> it's kind of awkward to be s really hot. I mean, not visually, but physically. Uh, well, that's almost the same kind of thing. But I'm sweating here, and here people are freezing to death, and they have almost the exactly the same pose. That felt super deja vu in the Matrix. It's so evident they are the same person. <laughs> or so obvious, I mean. I wouldn't want to start sliding on this surface. But. I hear someone breathing in my head, so I guess that's, that's who I'm supposed to be. But I feel I'm, I'm way too relaxed for this to be, you know, a crazy experience. Maybe because I think this is way too funny. This is the best part of the entire thing so far, the, the flexible rope. <laughs> we need more stuff like this in VR. Is this? Oh. That was oxygen tubes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, slow motion. Can I catch it? Please let me catch it. No! <laughs> so disappointed. Super disappointed. <laughs> that was sucky. Should have been able to deflect it or catch it or whatever. I'm curious how this works. It seems to be lacking some parts. No? Is it just a handle with a rope in it? I guess this mechanism here, maybe it's like some dead man's grip or something that you can flip this black thing and it will clamp onto the rope over here. Maybe like flip forwards. That person is not using his axe at all, so I guess. Yeah, exactly. This I think this whole bl black mechanism here is supposed to clamp on the rope. Is, is that one of those you can move it forwards and then it grabs on the way back? It's, it's most apparently broken, so I think I'm in, in a dire situation here. Super broken. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not a believable simulation. <laughs> I mean, the that's some. Is that an av avalanche? Uh oh. That's some really nice bass sound. I should have my, my sub pack on me, but that would make me super hot. Super hot. So uh, right now that's, that's not on my back. Yeah, in simulations like these, the stuff you can take a really close look at should be paid really much attention to. Like this friggin' tool I hold in my hand. Oh, I think this is the end. Or just a storm. Keep going. I think I'm leaving the people after me behind pretty severely. I feel like I'm being mean to them. But if I stay in the middle, I have no idea if anyone else is alive. <laughs> I think he just vanished. Oh my God. The rope. The rope's good. <laughs> you must get to camp. Oh, now I can do freestyle. Keep going. Keep going. So somehow the rope vanished. That was kind of slow experience, but I guess it's it's supposed to be done in a more 
you know, non-time-pressed situation. I guess I'm, I'm on, in, am I in the next area now? I don't know. At least having the ski mask on feels pretty realistic. Oh, I have hands, I have hands. Very uh, binary hands. I have teleport? What? Oh, there we go. This just makes me think of that avalanche that happened after an earthquake. That was a terrifying video. That looked just like this. <laughs> this could be used in like some PTSD experience for those people. How come I have thumb gloves and they have normal normal fingered gloves? Why am I so special? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. This is clearly not professional gear. It's just uh, promotional stuff. <laughs> oh, so they are the stupid people. <laughs> yeah, I always had these kind of gloves when I was snowboarding. So they were really nice. Look for the blue tent. Get inside and try to get some sleep. Teleport, teleport. Try to get it. Uh oh. So I saw I was supposed to draw the zipper, but I teleported inside the tent. And it seems a bit buggy. Why is it resetting the light every time I teleport? Can I put this on my head? No. Do I need to. to so it's clearly. Clearly, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, there we go. A headlight. <laughs> Friggin', I, I was looking at purchasing this and I can't remember the English word. So in, in Swedish, it's forehead lamp. <laughs> Hello. What? That's the most inconvenient issue ever. <laughs> so I guess that was, this is the next step. And I think I will be happy. Whoa, those are some nice beams. Go to the lobby. You leave camp in the middle of the night. So, the, so. Your aim, to reach what? the summit in the late morning. That gives you just enough time to get back down without being exposed. That transition was messy. Stand on footprints and this is really close to my walls. I know this and I can feel the carpet ending. <laughs> I have still no idea why they have me stand over here because this is the entire thing. Now I'm, this is the center of my room. They could just flip this around and I could see everything in front of me. That makes no sense. Why the, would the why would they base the starting point at a corner? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm wondering how much they even use a test. Well, I will do most of this some other time. Quit up. Uh. Let's see what else we got. Uh, has to be something worthwhile here. Uh, that's a demo. Not sure what this is. I've played 23 minutes, really? Why does it go? Yeah. 
Uh, Lost Legends, the Pharaoh's Tomb. Tomb. That's something we did. We played Tomb Raider like on the PlayStation 1 ages ago. And we said Tomb Raider. That's the Swedishified version of the name. Let's play Tomb Raider. And then like a decade later I hear that it's called Tomb Raider. <laughs> uh. Escape VR. And this is locked to my face. Anything locked to my... Oh! Oh! This is also locked to my face? Is this even VR? Really? Since when has that been a good idea? And this is not locked to my face. That's much better, but it's... <laughs> that intro is super strange. Instructions... Oh, oh. This looks like a super basic menu. <laughs> <laughs> Four times analyzing, yeah, that's really nice. Instructions. Oh, this looks basic enough. And as I just played something probably unreal, I need to flip my hands around again. Ugh. So this could be anything, Unreal or Unity. <laughs> but I would guess Unity because Unreal is such a heavy engine to run. I need to pull down the settings in raw data to have it be performant at all. So, teleport. I guess these are both hands because it's just a single controller. System menu is always system menu. That shouldn't be on the instructions because you can't actually override that button. It's, it's not bindable by other applications as far as I know. And I've tried. <laughs> Teleport, grab, interact, pause, hint, okay. This might be... Is this the co-op game? It's always interesting hearing sounds before you see the world. have disturbed my slumber and have escaped alive! <laughs> Uh. Yeah, okay. Um this is probably some escape room game. If I remember correctly, this is actually a co-op game where one what is that is this this Game. Let's let me just check if I'm supposed to play this with another person. Ugh. What 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 what? Why why? Uh, I'm not friends with this interface. So I need to. Uh, okay. Um, view store page. This shows co-op. I know I should be playing it with someone else. Oh no, it's single player, so this should be fine. Okay, okay. So then it's a, an escape room game, and it's kind of lagging. Laggedy lag lag at some point. Uh, I can't interact with the machine? Really? Tracking is freaking out. I wonder if my lighthouses are giving up. Or I know that lighthouse tracking can freak out when the CPU is heavily taxed. Like if it's at a hundred percent. I'm guessing my CPU is burning up at this point. <laughs> well, oh, that actually freaked out the camera. So let me fix that one. But yeah, if this game is too heavy to actually play while streaming, that might be an issue. Yeah, that's, that looks fine. Yeah, that works yeah, well enough. But yeah, that that CPU meter is just a solid color. I can feel the 
Oh shit! Oh what what? <laughs> okay, this is freaking out the tracking majorly. Um. <laughs> the room is now tilted. There, there <laughs> I came back. I need I need to play this when not streaming most apparently, but. I really like those kinds of games because they usually have very fine hand interactions. And yeah, the camera is freaking out. This is why I want to build the camera with actual actual Steam VR tracking on it because then recalibrations will be fine. I think the world is still leaning. Maybe that's my head. I'm not sure. Yeah, tracking seems a bit off. I'm guessing the pose estimation is now bonkers. Maybe even for my headset. An error. What? <laughs> I keep pressing the freaking wrong buttons here. When I actually want to go to manage game, I go. I press back instead of getting that menu open. Uh, yeah. And now I pressed back to expect to go to the other listing I had, but that listing is long gone. There we go. I, I'm apparently not very good at remembering to use that side menu. And the shot is still working. Yep, yep. I think this is also an escape room game. Uh, this is an Unreal game, so that will probably nuke my PC. <laughs> How is the CPU right now? It's still maxed out. Maybe there's something running in the background. Um, allow me to check. I think I have to restart Steam because this is probably why the menus were so laggy because Steam itself is taking up 90% CPU. level is just the VR compositor, what makes me able to be in VR. So that basically eats up 50% CPU, that's why I need a new PC. <laughs> oh, I, need, I think I have other stuff that takes up the other 40% probably. Uh,
Oh, friggin' Let's try this again. Uh, I might have seen the culprit for my nuked performance because I could see I could see one process that was suspicious and that was Windows Defender. So maybe Windows Defender is doing a health checkup and without anyone asking for it. It would be very inconvenient considering that Microsoft have like this gaming toolbar that comes up when playing games. Have disturbed my slumber. It will be really annoying Escaped if alive. they didn't detect. Oh, now I have lost the Steam overlay and the desktop overlay here inside VR because, <laughs> because I restarted Steam. So if I, ha if I want to change games now, I actually need to go out into Windows. I get, I get Windows noises. Why do I get... Steam error. Yes, 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 yes. Go away, go away. Uh. Well, what's I'm up to. I've streamed for one hour and 45 minutes, maybe. I didn't start that game. What? Did I double click? I tr think I tried to close menus. Uh. Yeah, this is going bonkers. I think I'll just resign for now and continue this some other day. <laughs> uh. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I think I need to sort out my PC now because it's going bonkers. Oh, 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 this is loud, this is loud. <laughs> Oh man. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh.